House help flees with 13.9 million naira cash, jewelry one week after resumption. This blessing is not a blessing to her employers. The domestic worker has gone into hiding after allegedly stealing money and jewelry valued at over 13.9 million naira from her boss's residence in the Victoria Land area of Lagos State. Blessing's boss, Pearl Ogbulu, Tuesday, January 18, said the suspect allegedly perpetrated the crime about a week after she started working with her. She said the Cross River State Indigen had remained incommunicado since the incident happened. It was gathered that an agent, Joshua Amaha, introduced Blessing to Ogbulu, who was not at home on the day the domestic worker visited her residence for an interview. Ogbulu said her parents, who live with her, took Blessing in. During the interview the following day, Ogbulu said she informed Blessing that she would undergo a test and registration at the police station. She said plans were on the way for the test and registration when the 25-year-old took advantage of her absence to steal from her. According to Ogbulu, her name could be an alias, but she identified herself as Blessing. She also mentioned that her name was Ehi from Cross River State. She's 25 years old and has a one-year-old child. She started working with me around 8.30 p.m. last Sunday. The agent told me she would come on Saturday for an interview, but I didn't see her only for the agent to tell me she was ready on her way that Sunday and when she didn't arrive early, I went out. I returned, I returned around 1.30 a.m. I was about to go to work the next day when I interviewed her and told her about the test and registration. January 13 was my brother's birthday and Blessing was standing on the third floor when I went into my room to bring out two envelopes containing 500,000 naira and 200,000 naira. I gave my brother 50,000 naira and also gave him and my mother $100 each. I kept the remaining money inside my room. Ambulu said she went for a party the following Sunday. When I returned from a party, I entered the compound and called my dad to open the door. But when he came down to open it, he said the door was not locked. My dad quickly searched Blessing's room and said she had packed all her things and fled. The security guard said he didn't see her leaving. I knew I locked my room, but I was surprised when I saw the door open. I went straight to where I kept my money and realized that the envelopes containing the Naira notes were gone. She stole two wristwatches, one of which cost $5,500. My daughter's earrings valued at $3,300. She also took $5,000. 300 pounds sterling and 200,000 naira. She took all my jewelry worth over $10,000. The businesswoman said the agent provided Blessing's brother's number and her address in the Korudu, adding that the number was unreachable and the address was nowhere to be found. I asked for Blessing's brother's number and address in the Korudu and the agent said the place was in Ijede. He gave me her brother's number, which did not go through, but True Color brought out a name, Elebe. We parked my vehicle at the NNPC filling station along Ijede Road and took a tricycle to scan the whole area looking for the address, but found no place like that. The tricycle operator charged me 7,500 naira, Ogbulu said. Ogbulu said she reported the case to the Police Intelligence Response Team, IRT, and Department of State Services, DSS. 
the commander, police intelligence response team, Tunji Disu, said that he is yet to receive an official complaint on the matter. The agent who supplied Blessing said he was not coming to help as the same thing happened before and that the madame arrested him and he suffered for days in police custody. If you enjoyed this, please like, share and subscribe so you can get notifications.